देयर स्टूल दी स्टूल दी लंप दी लंपिन दा स्किंड दी किंडर इन इंग्लिश एंड गिफ्ट एस नॉर्मला वाइज ट्वाय एंडिंग इन इन प्लूरल एस और द ए एस इन इंग्लिश देयर आर नॉर्मली टू एंडिंग्स इन प्लूरल एस और ई एस Yes, in Dutch and gibt es mehrere Endungen in Plural. In German there are several endings in Plural. In Dutch and haben alle Nomen the Plural form. In German all nouns have the Plural form. Alle Plural formen haben Article D. Aber verschiedene Endungen. All Plural forms have the Article D, but different endings. In this video, we will see the different patterns of plural form in German with lots of tips and tricks. So do watch this video till the end. Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you all are safe, healthy, and doing great. Welcome back to our channel Bloom German. This is the video series for the beginners or R ones level. Today I am back with the another interesting topic, and the name of our today's topic is Lexion Nonsen Der Deutsche Plural Lesson Number 19, The German Plural. Before proceeding to our today's topic, if you are watching this video or channel for the first time, so do. do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for timely notification of our latest videos in order to understand this topic clearly i would like to recommend you to watch the lesson number 15 16 17 and 18 of this video series firstly we will understand the basic difference between singular and plural noun in english and german language in english the noun is the book singular noun the books plural noun ending is getting added and definite article remain the same in english there is only one definite article and it is same for the singular and plural noun that is the and there are only two endings s or es now let's move on to the german language zum beispiel das book singular noun the bücher plural noun ending is getting changed stem vowel getting changed and definite article is also changed in german basically there are three definite article there the and thus for detail you can refer to our previous videos now the definite article for plural is always the stem vowel getting change here and there are basically seven patterns of endings in german plural endings in german language let's see them one by one plural nouns in german pattern 1 no ending das zimmer the zimmer the rooms no ending definite article changes from das to the pattern 2 ending e zum beispiel der bleistift die bleistifte ending e is getting added definite article changes from der to the pattern 3 ending n zum beispiel die kreide die kreiden ending n is getting added pattern 4 ending en zum beispiel die person die personen ending 
en is getting added. Pattern 5 ending s. Zum Beispiel der T, the T. The T's ending s is getting added. Definite article changes. Pattern 6. Stem vowel getting change. Ending er is getting added. Zum Beispiel das Fahrrad. Die Fahrrader. Ending er is added. Definite article changes. And stem vowel getting change. Pattern 7. Stem vowel change. Ending E is getting added. Zum Beispiel. Der Zug. The train. Die Züge. The trains. Ending E is getting added. Definite article changes. And stem vowel is getting change. Nomen. Imen plural. There is one exception in German language. It is always plural. The noun that is always plural. The loiter. There is no singular form for the people. Immer singular. The noun that is always singular. There is no plural form for it. Das Geld. In glance. Pattern 1 with no ending. Zum Beispiel their computer. The computer. Ending E. Zum Beispiel the Tisch. The Tischer. Ending N. Zum Beispiel their Junge. The Jungen. Ending EN. Zum Beispiel their Herr. The Herren. Ending S, zum Beispiel, der Kuli, die Kulis. Stem vowel getting chain and ending E is getting added. Zum Beispiel, der Arzt, die Ärzte. Stem vowel change, ending E are getting added. Zum Beispiel, das Buch, die Bücher. If you pick up any German book and write down all the nouns for these seven different patterns, then you will notice that mostly the nouns are belonging to the first four pattern and remaining goes with this last three. Now it's time to learn the technique of memorizing the German nouns along with their plural. The best way is to start memorizing the objects in your surrounding. For that, let's take one example from our surrounding. Let's see the objects in this photo one by one in German. Das photo, the photos. Die Lampe, the Lampen. Der Baum, the Bäume. Der Schnee, the Schnee. Their part plots. This is a compound noun. So the changes will happen in the second noun. As we have discussed in our previous video. So plural for this noun is the park pledge. The tripper. The tripper. The chore. The choren. Das Fenster, die Fenster. Das Haus, die Häuser. Das Dach, die Dächer. Der Mond, die Monde. Der Heimel, die Heimel. I hope you have learned and understood the today's topic. 
do like and share our videos any comment suggestions and feedback queries are welcome in a comment session hesitation danko for das anschauen minus videos auf wiedersehen